A mechanic was removing a cylinder head from the motor of a Harley motorcycle when he spotted a well-known heart surgeon in his shop. The surgeon was there waiting for the service manager to come take a look at his bike. When the mechanic shouted across the garage, Hey doc, can I ask you a question? The surgeon, a bit surprised, walked over to where the mechanic was working on the motorcycle. The mechanic straightened up, wiped his hands on a rag and asked, So doc, look at this engine. I open its heart, take valves out, fix them, put them back in, and when I finish, it works like new. So how come I get such a small salary and you get the really big bucks when you and I are doing basically the same work? The surgeon paused, smiled, leaned over and whispered to the mechanic, try doing it with the engine running. The heart is so complex. It has valve opening and shutting, muscles, nerves to create impulses, filling, emptying, and it works non-stop for your entire life. I'm studying the heart right now for my nursing continuing education, and boy, I feel like my head is exploding with information. The heart is not just important for your physical life, but for your spiritual well-being, according to the Bible. I know from my own personal experience that my heart has loved many things or people more than God. I have let my heart lead me down slippery roads as many as of us have done. Then it's an uphill battle to get my heart back in the right place again, loving God first. I can't tell you how much time I've spent on my knees begging God to help me with my unfaithful heart. Welcome, my name is Shoshana Salgado Muniz, a registered nurse, a wife, and mother of four little angels. Today we're going to talk about your heart condition. Wait, what? I don't have a heart condition, you say? Well, let's do a thorough exam and find out. First of all, one, we're going to uh, let God search your heart. Search me, O oh God, and know me. And two, then ask God for mercy. And three, admit if there's anything in your heart that doesn't belong there, that may be taking the place of God. And four, ask God to clean your heart. Let's see why we should let God search our hearts. It's because that's wise. It shows we fear God. If you do that, you may be avoiding eventual shame, embarrassment, or even punishment when it's made manifest to others what you really love instead of God. This reminds me of Psalm 139.23, which says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Point number two is to ask God for mercy. David got it right when he said in Psalm 51.1, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving devotion. It's interesting that David was referred to as a man after God's own heart. Could it be because he sincerely repented? whenever he made a mistake? Could it be because he actually loved God first over everything else? He asked God for mercy, and that is the second step and very important one. God has a lot of mercy to give, so go ahead and ask for it. And lastly, if you know of something you have been loving more than God, just let God know. Just say, God, you know I have really been spending more time with my smartphone than with you. Yes, he sees everything you do anyway. So why not just confess the problem? Sometimes we can sense we have a heart problem. God, who already knows what's in your heart, wants you just to confess it. Then he can start working to fix it. Hey, if I start getting chest pains every time I run, there's a problem. I realize I need to go to the cardiologist, right? Maybe to the ER. In the same way, if you feel your heart has wandered off far from God, just confess it. You might think God doesn't care or there's no, no hope for you or you are just your addiction is too strong and you can't stop whatever your addiction is. Well, as they say, the first step to overcoming addiction is admitting you have one. Go ahead and get the conversation started with God. He wants to hear from you. 
especially when it comes from your heart and not vain repetitions. Lastly, this bold step is your heart surgery. See, God who formed your heart can clean your heart of all impurities. David knew all too well when he asked God to create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51.10 So the next time you listen to your heart beating, remember that God is your great heart physician. Thank you for listening. And remember to contact me and tell me what's been on your heart these days.